Howdy, howdy, it's Jeff from jeffrey-thomas.com, and I'm going to go ahead and preview my guitar tab arrangement for 12-bar blues and E. This is a basic version, so let me play now and talk later. Two, three, four, one. <laughs> Okay, so obviously we've got a cool intro and an ending, uh, starting out here at the 4th fret, dropping down to the 3rd fret, to the 2nd fret, and then a grace note hammer on from open to 1, pop the 1st string open, walk into a B7 chord. That would be the intro, only thing different really at the end is I had you do a grace note slide, so... Same grace note hammer on, and then walk into... a B7 sharp 9, which is pretty hip, mean sounding. And, uh, let's see, 12 bar blues, just for people who are real, real basic, and um, just getting an understanding of this, 12 bar is the same as 12 measures, so make sure you're following the link in the description to the tablature on my site, right? So you can print this out and everything will be clear. So the structure of the blues when you're playing the rhythm would be, you know, literally 12 measures long. So you're going to start with your E chord. And that's not just an E chord, it's an E5 which is typically like a power chord. And then when you add your third finger here to the fourth fret on the fifth string, that becomes an E6. So it's just two notes, E5, E6. Those are the intervals that you're playing. If you want to get really technical, this is a perfect fifth, and this is a major sixth. Okay, all right, then you do the same thing for the A. A5, A6, okay. now. When it comes to the B chord, I just had you go basically playing the two notes from a B5 interval. You can do, but you know, beginning players to be able to get a reach from the second fret to the sixth fret, it's just not going to happen. So I, once again, basic version for all of you hot shots out there. Um, also this goes into a little bit of theory if you want to really talk about the the basic form of the blues it would be using the 1, 4, and the 5 chord. So what the heck does that mean? Well if you're in the key of E, E is your 1 chord or E7, however you want to voice the chord and then A would be your 4 chord, literally just count E F, G, A, and it's four notes away from the E chord, and then your B chord is five notes away from E. So that's where the one, four, five numbers come from, and there is just a huge variety of blues progressions. So as you're going into blues playing, be ready for lots of different um, chords and structures of that 12 bars. There's going to be many variations of the progressions that you can play and of course the keys that you can play it in. I picked E because it's very guitar friendly. Okay, so next thing to talk about is the top row of the chord diagrams. I have all five pentatonic patterns for E minor um, which is very important so I'll just run the first one for you. It's open three, open two, open two, open two, open three, open 
three. Now when you get to the top note, you're going to turn right back around and come down. Okay. Now, here is sort of the formula for blues playing. If you're playing blues in the key of E, you're going to use E minor pentatonic. If you're playing blues in the key of A, you're going to play A minor pentatonic. Yes, there is a blue scale available. I'm aware of that. But if you don't know all five of your pentatonic patterns, you shouldn't be messing around with blue scales. And here's what I mean by that. Pentatonic, pentatonic, penta is a five note scale. So we have five patterns and they cover the fretboard and they allow you to move into different positions staying in key and hitting the right notes. You're basically tumbling the five notes in that pattern. That's how you come up with the different uh, positions on the guitar. What I've done is I've written the scale pattern out and then I've put a chord shape highlighted and then that chord shape is underneath. So each pattern as you go across the page has a chord that you would play for all the five pentatonic patterns. And the reason I did that is because when I was first starting out playing, I liked rhythm guitar players and I liked lead guitar players. I wanted to do both. And then what I started to realize, a lot of the cool players that I listened to would go like, you know, um, they'd go back and forth from rhythm playing and I just thought that was the coolest thing in the world and I wanted to do it so as you go through these pentatonic patterns you're gonna have the first one has an E minor outlined the next one has a G major outlined the next pattern has a G over D the next one up has E minor over B and then the last one here at the tenth fret has a chord G6 over D Kind of a goofy chord, but it fits for the uh, scale pattern. So anyway, we could go on and on and on and on and on about this, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, hopefully that was a good start for you and has put you on the right path for getting things down for playing the blues. And if you have any further questions, make sure you hit me up on my website. Click any of the Schedule Now buttons and we can set up a free Skype lesson. All right, thanks.